everyone. I'm Megan Clemente. Welcome to the Panther Report. After a week on the road, the men and women were back in Miami ready to entertain Panther Nation. The women kicked off the week with a Thursday night game versus North Texas. In the first half, FIU up by as many as nine points, took a 27-18 advantage at the 454 mark. The Mean Green then cut the lead to two with 35 seconds remaining in the stanza. With the clock winding down, Jerrica Coley with the jumper. It's good. The Panthers up 34-30 at the break. Four minutes into the half, the Mean Green took its first lead of the contest at 42-40, but FIU quickly regained the lead on this three-point play by Coley. The teams would exchange baskets until they tied at 64 and again at 66. Marita Davidova with the last second attempt gets the jumper, but FIU falls to North Texas 70-68. Davidova registered her sixth double-double of the season with a career-high 18 points and a career-high tying 15 rebounds. Just 20 minutes later and the men took to the hardwood to battle North Texas. Cameron Bell with the pump fake shoots the three and it's good. The Mean Green would then take control. Down by five, Tymel Murphy with the turnaround jumper follows up with a tip in and gets the score within one. A Malik Smith three gets the Panthers the lead and FIU closes the half with a 12-2 run. Out of the break, the Panthers would only get stronger, leading by 18 with 13 minutes remaining. FIU walks away with a 70-64 victory against the Mean Green. The Panthers forced 23 turnovers, resulting in 33 points. Cameron Bell had quite the game, recording 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, and 4 steals. FIU earns their first home win versus North Texas since January 18, 2007. Saturday brought Troy to U.S. Century Bank Arena for a basketball doubleheader. First up, the women. FIU wasted no time taking an 11-2 lead, but the Trojans quickly made their way back into the game. Down by one, the Panthers bounce back. Coley with a jumper. Step back, jumper in the air, and she hits. And she doesn't stop there. Holy Coley forces the turnover and passes to Carmen Milagloff for the easy deuce to reclaim the lead 19-16. FIU completes the half 33-28. The Panthers led for the majority of the second half before the Trojans nodded the score at 58 with 547 remaining in the contest. FIU regained the lead on a layup from Finda Mansari and never looked back. In the 82-76 victory, Coley eclipsed the 1700 career point mark with a 33-point performance. Holy Coley now has 1724 points on her career. In this game, she also collected eight boards, three assists, and two steals. In the final game of the weekend, the men spent the majority of the game trailing the Trojans, hitting their largest deficit at 45-37 with 9.52 left in the game. Forcing a change in momentum, Malik Smith ignited an 8-0 run with six of his 22 points coming from back-to-back -back threes. Check out this Derek Hill to Smith Trey. Smith open for a three, pump fake, now fires it up and hits. Later in the game, tied at 54, Cameron Bell with the rebound takes it down the lane. Bell followed that up with two from the charity stripe, and FIU earned its fifth straight home victory. In the 61-55 come-from-behind win, Smith scored a game-high 22 points and two rebounds. Currently, both the men and women stand at 5-4 and four in conference play. The action returns on Wednesday, January 23rd, when the women travel to Lafayette for an 8 p.m. game against ULL. The men face the race occasions the following night. I'm Megan Clemente. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Panther Report.